Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon or uh, live Wi-Fi battle versus Diogo. Um, a opponent from Facebook. I asked for a mixed um, OU match, Smogon rules. So it's happening this. We got the same team as um, on Monday for the Wi-Fi battle we had against King Nappy. Um, if you guys haven't checked that battle out yet, I suggest you go check it out. I'll put a link to that in the description. Holy crap, he's bringing some awesome stuff. Not bad, not bad. Some lower tier stuff. I like seeing uh, PU stuff used to competitive. That's awesome. Um, he is bringing uh, Blaziken, um, Melodic, uh, Pikachu, which I'm assuming is maybe Light Ball. Uh, that's usually only the Pikachu you ever run with Light Ball. Um, I'm assuming maybe, maybe Mega Magic Rolls because Mega Blaziken and Ubers. Uh, Glaceon and maybe Choice Scarf Flygon, which is usually what people run. Uh, the team we got today is actually the same on Monday, as I said. We got the uh, Mew, which is actually leftovers. Mega Swampert, um, ex I think it's Expert Life Orb, or Expert, wait, no, Expert Belt, uh, Raikou. Um, Life Orb, Subat, uh, Choice Scarf for it. And, uh, we both have two PU Pokemon, not bad. Not bad, man. Um, and a, uh, I think it's a Focus Ash, Toxic Croak, so. He doesn't have that, nothing that looks like it can set up hazards, so that's awesome. Don't need to worry about hazards. Um, I'm going to leave with my Swoobat, because that's usually my usual lead for the team. I've been trying this team over the couple, last couple days. It's been uh, doing pretty damn good, actually, so... Uh, we're going to try it out again in a live wi battle this time. So hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do would like to uh, show some support, drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe. That would be really awesome. Really, really appreciate that. We're going to hop into this. Glee with the Magnet Gross, okay. I'm kind of fine with that, because, uh, wait, no, we, never mind, never mind, I'm not fine with that. No, I'm not. We can't hit this thing for shit. I don't even know if it pays keeping my Subat around, because... I'm assuming it's Mega Metagross. Nothing I can really hit this thing for. I can go for a Psychic, uh, that's res everything I have it for is resisted. Subat, the bad thing about Subat is it can't deal with us, or can't see what deal with steel types very much. But then again, there's not very really many, many steel types in PU, anyways. This thing's meant for PU. The only steel types in PU is actually Bastiodon, I think, and um, anything from NFE that ends up popping up in PU. So that's about it. Whatever that's usually used. Um, the only thing we can actually go out into here is I don't really know. We have not no good switch for this. Go into the Mew. That's about the best switch. We're gonna go out into Mew. We're defensive, we're 252 defense, uh, 252 HP, so we're, we're impish nature, so we should be able to, um, eat some shit up from this thing. It's a Mega Metagross, so we know it's Mega. Meteor Mash, alright, can we eat this up? We do have a, uh, soft boil too, yeah, we can eat that up, we can take another one. Um, I can maybe set up the Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock would really benefit us because he does have two things that are 25% reek to rock, um, which is actually the Pikachu and the Galatian. Um, rocks, I think, will be kind of cool here, too. So we're going to set up the Stealth Rock. I can go for the. Oh, he's going to withdraw, so free rocks, not bad. I really don't. He's probably gonna, thinking I was going to burn him, so he's going to go into this Low Liquid, which I'm assuming has uh, the Marble Scale. So good thing we did not have the Willow Bisp. Actually, go for a ton on this thing too, in case this thing wants to get go for a cover or anything like that either. So, don't really know what this thing has for me. Um, I know we can maybe take some special hits. I'm just gonna go for a nightshade to get some damage off. I really don't know what this thing's gonna do for me. Maybe go for a scald, um, something like that. Maybe. Uh, not can hit me for it. dragon pulse. Okay, I'm fine with that. Right now, it actually be a good switch out into the. Uh, Subat, but I need to get a free switch into Subat, because Subat's so frail that, um, it cannot basically even live a neutral hit from, I'm assuming from max special attack modest and melodic, which is what usually people run in UU, so, um, I'm going to go for another Nightshade. Can't really take a hit, so I don't really want to switch it in on this thing, I really need to switch, uh, I need a free switch, he's going to go for the Water Pulse, okay. See how much that does it stab this time. So it oh, he gets the confusion also. We'll go with confusion hacks on the field. Well, I don't really know. If, I think I'm ready to keep this thing around for the. Uh, I'm gonna go for a stop boiled. I really need to keep this thing around. Can we break through? Come on, Mew, break through, break through. Yeah, we got the soft boiled. Okay, we'll switch you out now. Since you landed through the confusion, we'll switch you out into Swoobat next. Swoobat. The only thing I really need the Swoobat for is for the um. 
this Melodic here, and then there's, I think, Blaziken. I know it does outspeed Blaziken without the speed boost, so that's uh, um, good to know. He has to recover, so we need to taunt this thing then. That means I'm going to stay in so we can, we can taunt this thing. Actually, should I even bother taunting it? I'm going to go into Swoobat. Salt Vest Swoobat is a thing, but no, <laughs> like literally nobody runs Salt Vest Swoobat. Because he literally need, he has Surf also, he's carrying Surf for more damage. See what I mean? I can't even live a neutral hit, oh my gosh. We carry the energy ball for this. I don't. Th I assume it, it's not gonna one shot. Yeah, that's like nothing. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should have went for it. We get the special te a defense drop though. Ooh. Okay. Well, now we're in a pickle. We're in a pickle now. He has no ground types on his team, which is nice. So we can freely volt switch and freely thunder. So luckily we got our. Uh, my boy Brad's gonna come on out my myself basically. Uh, I'm gonna go on. I'm, I'm gonna go into Brad here and then, uh, go for a Thunderbolt. Thunder, Thunderbolt should be able to take this thing out. We do outspeed. He is at plus two because of the uh, minus special defense drop. He's running a competitive melodic. Competitive is gonna be a really uh, one of those abilities that you absolutely need to have in VGC and stuff like. Oh yeah, never mind. I forgot he has Flygon. This thing's probably choice. I should have maybe predicted that. I forgot he has Flygon. I was like, he doesn't have any ground types on his team. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I forgot to take a picture of a scene. That's a problem. I'm assuming this thing's probably choice scarfed. We do have the HP uh, ice, but I don't want to risk it because I know these usually run choice scarf. Why, why, why risk it? We can go into a completely healthy Mew. So. See what he goes for. He's gonna go for the earthquake. Don't blame him. Assuming that was probably scarfed the way he stayed in. If it was scarfed, he probably would have went for a U-turn too. So that was probably what it's gonna do. We can find out if it's not if it's gonna be uh, scarfed here. So go for a nightshade on anything that wants to go in. It is not scarfed. Okay, we know it's not scarfed now. So we could have maybe outsped there and got an HP ice off, which was four times effective. That still does nothing. Oh my gosh. We know it's not Scarf, so that's awesome. You never want to take the risk against Flygon, because they're usually they run jo uh, they usually run either Adamant or Joe. I choice Scarf. I know we can take maybe we can maybe take one more um, Crunch. I don't really want to. I'm just not going to risk it if we can take two more, because I just want to get my health back up. Because I know it's going to he's going to withdraw here, so we get a free um, soft boiled off. It's not really that bad. He's going to go back out to the Melodic, because he knows uh, I need to taunt this thing. We knew how to be it, so we can taunt it. Maybe I should have went for the uh, Nightshade there, get a little bit more damage off, so we could have probably killed this thing. Assuming that it has a, it's about like mm, 25 to 30% on this thing yet, so. I know he's going to try going in for a cover, so I need to taunt this thing. That's why I carry taunt is for uh, things I try to set up in walls. So that's why, yeah, he's going to try recovering here. No way we're going for a cover. We know his full moves it now, though. He has um, Waterfalls. Uh, Surf, Dragon Pulse, and Recover, so... Nightshade away, Mew. Mew is putting an incredible amount of work in this battle. Usually Mew is just there for a wall and just... shits around and puts Stealth Rocks up and dies, but... Mew is getting to be incredibly, uh, useful in this match so far. My mascot, by the way. See what he goes for here. I'm assuming maybe he might switch. I don't really see the point though. Stealth Rock's gonna do another uh, like about 15% when he comes back in. So um, anything ba basically to out that outspeed. He's gonna withdraw anyways. See what he goes out into. Go back out to the flag on. Okay, well, I'm fine with that. We know he's not choice scarfed and that uh, it's gonna have the Stealth Rocks taken to him. And we're gonna get another 50% off on this thing. So One more uh, night shoot to actually kill this thing. The crunching is super effective. Dragon Claw, see what this does. It's stab this time. That still doesn't do anything. That's a crit. Oh my gosh. That still does nothing. Mew, you're so bulky. Wow. And I don't know why I haven't been using, using Mew as much lately. 
This is like a complete monster. This is defensive form, defensive set. I wonder if it, um, if, uh, the uh, attacking or sets are better. Go to the Pikachu. That's gonna take uh, 25. Well, not 25 percent. That's only like 10 percent from South Rock. Don't really know what this thing wants to do to me. However, we do have something that completely walls it, and that is our Swamp. Or at least he's running HP Grass for um, ground types, which uh, most some Pikachu's do that. I'm assuming this is going for our electric type move. Volt Switch. Okay, well we predicted that. Nice, awesome. I'm gonna free um, Rain Dance off here because I know he might not stay in here. He has nothing right his with. We're gonna go for the Rain Dance. If you want to save this thing, you can keep it around. He's gonna withdraw here. All right, we get a free Rain Dance up. So we basically outspeed anything on his team. Out into the Metagross. I don't really care about that. Pretty much one shot this thing. It, can, it does not outspeed us after the Rain. So we're gonna get the Rain up here and then we'll uh, double speed. I'm actually Jolly Max Speed, Max Attack on this Swampert. It's been doing really good in um, all the battles I have this week. I've been doing a lot of them off screen too, and that's really awesome. This team is a pretty good team we actually built this week. So that 95 old King Nappy, yeah, I never can't believe that. Still the support in that battle. Thanks you guys for the support in the battle too. That was awesome. Gonna go for the earthquake. He does have the flygon unless he's gonna beat the flygon. If he's if he beats the earthquake and goes on the flygon, he's real. But I, I don't see him doing that. Yeah, he's gonna stay in. How much is gonna do? It one shots. Never mind. Metagross is OU. Mega Swampers UU. It's a real big threat in uh, UU. The only thing that really shuts down Mega Swampers is uh, Shaman and Celebi. You cannot really get by those. You do have the Ice Punch, but Ice Punch is like a 3 KO on the, both of those. Right, it is 3 KO on uh, Celebi. Norm not even defensive investment. It's 2 KO on um, Shaman, but it outspeeds Mega Swampers, so there's nothing really you can do. Gonna go out to the Melodic again. <laughs> earthquake away. You might bait the Earthquake. No, he's not gonna bait the Earthquake and go out to the Flygon. Then again, I don't really see the point going out to the Flygon. We're gonna get out sped anyways. I'm not getting, carrying the um, Ice Punch on this uh, Swampert either. I'm carrying the um, Break Break uh, instead for. Um, I don't really know why I'm carrying a Break Break. Just for um, coverage. That's what I'm basically carrying it for. Going to the Glaceon here. That's gonna take 25% from Stealth Rock. No, I'm pretty sure this thing just out speed. We're gonna we're getting a little bit of a uh, break break should be able to take us out. This is see what I actually run break break for ice types as well. That's what I was gonna say. It lives. Oh my gosh! Ice beam. How much it's gonna do? Yeah, that's choice specs. That's definitely choice specs. Specs ice beam. He's running choice specs glacian. Base 130. It's really underrated in PU. I don't even know how this thing's PU. I would really love to put a set for uh, Glaceon together. Make a team around Glaceon. Base 130. Base 130 special attack and base, I think, 100 or 110 speed for Glaceon. Not bad. This is some stuff in PU that really shuts it down. That's a problem with it. Going to the Pikachu. He's running out of options here. We're getting a Swamp or Sweep, basically. The rain's gone now. Could set the rain back up, it doesn't matter though, because we're basically sweeping this guy's team now. He has nothing for Mega Swampert, I can tell you that right now. This thing is putting in, Mega Swampert is putting in complete, complete work. He's been doing some bodybuilding, he went to the gym. He's feeling good, he had some protein. He has morning protein shake. He's buff. He just wants to put in some work and make everybody happy. I mean, never mind, the Flygon's gone. I forgot about that. We got the Flygon out of here with the Mew. Never mind. Doesn't even go for the Protect for the Speed Boost. If I were him, I would have went for the Protect with the Speed Boost. Then he probably went out, might have out of sped and went for the High Jump Kick if he did have it. GG, we got like a... That was like a 5 Pokemon Sweep right there. Wait, Mega Swampert. 5-0, not bad. This team's been like 3-0 and 5-0 people all week. Oh my gosh, that's a good team. Put a good team together this week, but... If you guys did enjoy... And you're new, subscribe. Um, if you made it this far, that's really awesome. I appreciate you making it this far in the video. And um, also like this video, share this video, and rate this video. That would also really mean a lot and uh, show the support. Uh, with that being said, though, we're going to be having some more uh, videos. I'm actually pre-recording this for um, a couple days. 
actually not be recording this video, but the others I will you guys see. But um, with that being said, though, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.